Hi everyone, this is Jen Miller, Business Success Coach with Practice Better, and I'm here today to share with you a creative way that you can use an evergreen program in Practice Better as a resource library for your clients, or just really a creative way to share content with your clients of any type. So I'm going to actually head to my practice, my programs, and the one I'm gonna use as an example today is a recipe library. So using uh, the Evergreen program in this way is really nice um, in terms of sharing resources with your clients because it keeps it organized and streamlined on both your side and the client side. So they'll be able to easily access these resources anytime um, really easily without having to maybe look through their document folder or refer back to protocols. If you have a large number of resources that you want to share, um, it may make sense to do it in this way. Um, so a couple examples of where you might use something like this. So maybe you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients and maybe there are certain resources you want them to have access to, such as in this example, maybe a, a bunch of recipes. Or, you know, perhaps you have a bonus bundle of resources that clients receive as part of maybe booking a group program with you. Um, so this can be utilized in both your work one-on-one -on -one with clients or even with groups. Um, so yeah, again, in this example, this is a recipe library, but it could be anything. Maybe it's a meditation library or really any type of, you know, even foundational educational material that you want your clients to, um, you know, review and learn, you know, um, sort of separate from your actual sessions together or just any type of content. Um, again, it can just be a really nice way to organize it and present it to your clients. So yeah, in this case, we've got a recipe library here and I've utilized the modules um, in a couple of different ways. And there's a few different options for how you could do this. So you could use the modules to um, house individual pieces of content. So maybe it's an individual recipe in this case, which I'll show you in a moment, or maybe it's more as categories of content. So again, with this example, maybe it's types of recipes. So we've got like one pot meals, meals in under 30 minutes, uh, vegan and vegetarian meals, and so on. So their modules are more used as sort of categories to organize the content, or you could just use a module individually for each piece of content, if that made sense for you. And I think it just really depends on how much content you have to share, um, whether you want to break it up into sort of categories in the modules, or if you want to have each piece of content um, separate as their own module. So I'm just going to go edit um, on this first module here to sort of highlight something. So with the Evergreen program, when you're setting this up as a resource library, you'll want to ensure that you select uh, allow registered clients to access content at any time. Because with a resource library, you're not necessarily going to be dripping content out to them over you know, a sequential period of time, maybe you know, module one, week one, module two, week two, and so on, as you would with a, you know, a typical uh, program. And this is more of a resource library. So you'll probably want them to just have access to everything right away. So that's what you would set up there. Um, all right, so let's just go into the content here. Again, this is just an example and you know, there's more resources that we have on building your programs, but I just wanted to scroll through and this sort of highlight how you could share um, you know, a sort of a, a category of content inside of a module. So again, this is one pot meals. I've got sort of a header and a photo here. I've added a table of contents just to keep it really organized so the client knows what to expect um, inside of the module. And then we've got each recipe here with a photo, um, some text, and actually a video embedded. So maybe you want to include a demo video or something of that nature, as well as I've got the recipe attached as a PDF. So that's just one example of how you could utilize um, the module to share some content. And I'll just keep scrolling down, actually, so you can see I've just got a few built in here. Um, that are just basically uh, sharing a variety of different recipes that sort of fall under this one category of one pot meals. Um, so that's one idea. Um, so I'm just going to head back here and show you the second option, which I mentioned, which is just sharing sort of one piece of content in its own module. So that's just in this case, one recipe. Again, it could be maybe a meditation or any type of content, really. 
Um, and I've got it sort of formatted somewhat similar to the previous one. But again, this is just sharing one piece of content, really highlighting that piece of content on its own with a variety of different formatting options here. Um, so just wanted to share both of those ideas for you when you are considering using an Evergreen program as a resource library. One thing I want to mention as I wrap up here is that, you know, this could be a great way to utilize our packages feature as well. So perhaps you are working one on one with clients, maybe you offer them a package of, say, four one on one sessions, plus you add this resource library program to that package, then you can bundle that all together. And when the clients purchase that package, they'll automatically be enrolled in this program and given access to the resource library. So that could be a great way to really bundle that together. You could also do that with, you know, any other services, maybe your group coaching, coaching sessions or your other maybe fixed date uh, programs and, and so on. So I hope that helps as just a bit of a creative way to use our evergreen program feature as a resource library and a nice way to really organize and streamline content that you are sharing with clients. Let us know below if this is helpful and if you have any questions.